Fresh Park, how to videos. In this segment, how to set up your quarter pipe, what accessories work with it, and what are the multiple variations you can do with it. Start by separating all the hardware that comes with the equipment. This is six J bolts, four knobs, two support legs, two long cross braces, and two short cross braces. From there, you will take the cross braces, short and long, using the multiple hole end, use the middle hole with your J bolt. Set one short cross brace and one long cross brace on the side of your support leg. Slide the J bolt through with a washer on one end of the J bolt, through the middle of the support leg, through the middle hole of the short cross brace and tighten the wing nut on the end. Be sure and use a washer every time on the outside of the J-bolt. You don't want that slipping through. We're going to review this with the other leg, through the middle hole on each of the support legs and the cross braces and tighten the wing nut on the inside. Again, be sure and use a washer on the outside. From there, we're going to unfold the ramp from its storage position. We're going to straighten out all the panels. In order to do this by yourself, you will need to refold one end of the ramp so that it is self-supporting. From there, we will grab our support legs and cross braces. It is possible to put these in the wrong way. You must match up the top of the angle of the support tube to the sleeve that it slides into. Next, you will take two of the knobs for the top leg and two of the knobs for the bottom. These knobs do not need any tools to tighten them. Just tighten them as tight as you can with your hands until they're snug. Again, two for the top and two for the bottom. Here's another angle. Screw the knob in and just snug it until it's tight. Don't over tighten it. The next step is to tilt the ramp down for final setup. Put your foot on the support leg and flip the ramp down so it looks like it's in the rideable position. We will take another J bolt with a washer on the outside and set this in the second hole from the top with the short leg and a wing nut on the back side. Tighten till it's finger tight. We'll do the same for the lower leg. One J bolt with a washer. Use the longer leg in the lower location. Insert the J bolt into the hole with the cross brace in the middle and tighten as much as possible with your fingers. Again, it is important to have that washer on the outside for the best support and the best setup. This is a couple different angles of it. We'll go to the other side of the ramp. Again, insert a J bolt with a washer on the outside the small support leg up top and the longer support leg on the bottom. In order to move the ramp, simply tilt the ramp onto its wheel side, fold in the lowest section of the ramp with the toe piece on it, and push it to the next location that you'd like to use it at. Set it back up and it is ready to skate. We have accessory safety rails for these. The ramps can also be set up in multiple configurations side to side, back to back, as well as with a fun box extension. We have a how-to video on our YouTube website under Fresh Park Ramps, or you can visit us for more information and other ramps at www.freshpark.com.